Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of everything. Drawing on a watercolor wash, hand lettering and illustrating food while making a fun layout. Of course, I can't explain everything in one episode of Draw Tip Tuesday, but I sure hope to inspire you here. When you're exploring the possibilities in hand lettering, let's not worry about what clever words you want to write. Simply use a line, a quote or a saying that appeals to you and use it to practice your hand lettering on. I like using all sorts of types and fonts that I make up. It really, really helps to study fonts that you like. So if you like the Helvetica font, for example, Print out the alphabet and trace all the letters, so you can get to learn the curves, angles and proportions, and analyze what you like about it. Once you get to know your taste in fonts, you can start making up your own, and give them a personal touch with your handwriting. Drawing a banner can create some depth in this illustration. It will look playful. By hatching some shadows, I give the banner some more depth. I will finish it after I added the rest of the layout. The lemon wedges I draw here are super simplified. I draw the compartments to make the shape recognizable. Of course it helps that the text actually says what they are to recognize them as lemon slices. By thickening the outline, I give the banner a bit more body, like I did with the lettering as well. I add more shadows and add the rest of the text. Again, I give the letters a little bit more by adding another pencil layer. Next week, I'll show you how I did this watercolor wash background. Thank you for watching this video. You can make awesome art. Have a look at my website, koshikuna.nl, to find out about the classes that I teach.